Hi, welcome to Abacet Math. In this video, we're going to look at another problem from our set of AMC 10 counting problems. And let's take a look at what we have. A license plate in a certain state consists of four digits, not necessarily distinct, and two letters, also not necessarily distinct. And these six characters may appear in any order, except the two letters must appear next to one another. How many distinct license plates are possible? So in this problem statement, uh, the not necessarily distinct means that we can choose duplicate digits as well as duplicate letters, it appears. So let's take a look at a slightly simplified version of this problem just to get it started. Let's uh, consider a six position license plate with the letters in the first two positions and the numbers in the last four positions. Well, let's try to construct the different types of license plates that are possible. So let's look at the first digit of the number it seems we can choose between digits 0 through 9 for 10 possible choices in that first digit. Likewise, 0 through 9 for 10 possible choices in the second digit. And likewise, for the third and the fourth digit. Now at this point, it probably should point out that for license plate numbers, we allow a leading 0 digit, unlike for a counting number where we usually exclude a 0 as a leading digit. Now the letters kind of work out pretty much the same way. For the first letter position, we can choose from A through Z for 26 possibilities. And likewise, since we allow for duplicate letters, we can choose A through Z for the second letter position for 26 possibilities. Now at this point, we have to recognize that our, our choices for these different locations are independent and are not connected in any way. So they're independent choices, and we can use the multiplication principle for sets to figure out the number of compound sets that are formed by these six positions. And the total number is given by the product of the different position possibilities, and that leads to a product of 10 to the fourth times 26 squared. Now that's the number of license plates possibilities for the case where the first two letters, or the first two positions, contain the letters, but we also have to consider the cases where the two letters can appear in the second and the third location. A little further down, the two letters can occur in the fourth and the fifth location, or lastly, the fifth and the sixth location. Now, if we look at these individual cases, we realize that if we say examine the second case, the mathematics for calculating the total number of possibilities is identical to this first case. We essentially have 26 times 26 possibilities for the letters and 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 possibilities for the numbers. So the number of possibilities for this case is also 10 to the fourth times 26 squared. And that's also true for the third and the fourth and the fifth location. Now at this point, we have to recognize that what we've done in constructing these five cases is that we've basically constructed five subsets that are non-overlapping and taken together will form all the license plates possibilities that we're interested in. And we know they're non-overlapping because a license plate with, say, two letters in the front can never be confused with a license plate with the letters in the second and the third position, and likewise for the other cases. And so this forms uh, a situation where we can use the addition principle for counting sets, in which case we have five subsets that are non-overlapping and taken together form the total set that we're interested in, and that gives us a total number of license plates of 5 times 10 to the fourth times 26 squared for choice C. Now at this point I just want to expand this problem just a bit to include the case where for instance, we're interested in license plates in which the letters can appear, the two letters can appear in any location. And so we want to consider the case where of the six positions, the two letters can appear perhaps in the first two locations, perhaps in the first and the fourth location, perhaps in the third and the fifth location, and what have you. And what we realize is that for each of these possibilities, the mathematics for each of these cases is identical to what we've done in the first case. We end up with 10 to the fourth times 26 squares possibilities for each of these cases. So what we're really asking to do here is to find out how many different ways can we choose the two locations for the letters out of six possible locations in the license plate number. 
And of course, that works out to our combination mathematics. And so the total number of ways that we can choose these two locations for the letters is C62, which works out to 6 times 5 divided by 1 times 2, and that equals 15. And then again, we have to multiply each of these cases by the total number of license plates per case. for the total number of license plates where we allow the two letters to occur in any position. And I just wanted to point that out as a slight uh, expansion of the original problem just to, for interest and uh, hope that was clear and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.